everyone. I'm back to you again from my closet. Thank you for joining me for um, Style Tip Sunday. Uh, I appreciate you guys working with me through this process, even though it's like my first time and actually going live and um, not my first time, but actually being public and speaking. And I just really appreciate you guys viewing. Um, and I, I really do. First, I want to say I hope your family is safe. I hope you guys are doing well. And if you are, I'm continuing to pray for you that your family stays safe and well through this time. Um, but through this time, I know last week that we said we were going to have a guest, but plans have changed. But I'm still back on here live, so I'm going to give you some style tips on summer white. That's our topic today. So um, we're first going to define what white is. And white is just a, um, it's considered really not a color. But it's the basis of all the colors on the spectrum, on the color spectrum. Just like black is the um, absence of light, darkness. So um, white is pure. It represents purity. And if you know the Bible, Bible, <laughs> the Bible says that um, white represents purity. Just like Jesus when he was in white linen and pure, that's what white is. And I love white because it's an awesome color to pair with things. Hi, Latia. Hi, Mia. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you. So what we're going to do, I have notes. I have my glasses on, guys, because I can't see, you know, <laughs> you know, as you get, you're looking at computers and things all day, your eyes get a little weak. So I have to wear my, my glasses today. So um, the color white is the lightest color. It's achromatic and it has no you. So no U meaning that itself is without any whites or blacks to lighten it so hi guys so it's intense and pure and i'm just going to give you guys like four tips on how to wear white what you should do what you should think about when you're wearing white and i know people say i hate wearing white <laughs> and the, the main reason why people don't like to wear white is because they say it gets dirty quick but my first suggestion and my first tip for you is think about when you're going to wear your white and where you're going to wear it. So my suggestion is don't wear white to a cookout. Um, don't even wear white out to a uh, like an event where it's going to be a large crowd because you can bump into someone and white can be ruined. So I'm going to say if it's an intimate party, some people have white parties, things like that, and it depends on what you're doing. So just just be mindful of where you're going. Um, I love white. I love wearing white. Um, I wear white to church. That's a good place. Wear white to church. And make sure that you can keep it clean or keep something with you like shout. Um, some type of um, solution that will get out stains when you need it to. So carry like baby wipes or something with you. Hi, Reverend Jewel. How are you? She's such a mentor. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> um, and what I'm going to say is also choose correct accessories. So behind me, I have some looks for you that have white in it. And I know last week we talked about how knits are in right now, and they're definitely in. This is a one shoulder split knit dress. And I just paired it with a tank top. My, sorry, my mannequin, you can't actually put like pants on it, so I couldn't put pants. But I did pair it with um, a coral tank top and some accessories to go with it. So with this white, I would say that Pastels look great with white. Corals, pinks look great with white. Something that's going to show up. So um, this particular necklace, I'm going to show you how to pair that with some other accessories. So, so here are some tassel earrings that you can pair with the, I don't know if anybody can see these. These are a part of my collection. These are tassel um, coral earrings that you can wear with this particular outfit. And then also pair, I have shoes. This is a coral shoe. It's a chunky, a chunky uh, heel shoe um, that you can wear with it. And I would suggest if you are going to wear jeans with this, make sure that the jean is at least above the ankle so it doesn't rub up against your shoe and it, it's visible. When you have on a platform or a fancy shoe, it should be visible. So depending on your pant length, please make sure that your shoe is showing properly. Also, for the next look, 
is a summer look. This is, remember the hat that we had last week, the coral hat? Um, this hat would go nice, and I said it would go with nice with a nice summer dress. So I had, I forgot I had this dress in my um, closet. I think I only wore this maybe once or twice, but I thank God that I did have it in my um, closet to show you how it would be paired with the hat. But also, since it's going to be summer, um, I made a fan some, like a year ago, just being me <laughs> being creative so you can add a fan with that um, to go with the uh, sundress and then also you can pair it with a little clutch purse I have a little clutch coral purse and that is a nice look for church that's for a wedding um, I know Mother's Day is we can't we can't really celebrate traditionally but if you're going to be on um, zoom with your family you can still dress it up, wear a hat, <laughs> and still celebrate your mom. Um, so those are the two um, whites. This is sort of like an ivory color white, and this is a pure white. So the next thing that I'm going to tell you is about white linen. I know someone asked last week what colors are, I mean, sorry, what materials are good for summer. Linen is a good summer material. The only thing that I'm going to say about linen is I don't suggest wearing a whole entire linen outfit because it can get kind of hot. So I would say choose which part of the body you're going to to wear the linen. So if you pick a linen straight pant, try to pick sort of like a, um, I'm going to say maybe a silk or um, I like cotton polyester blends because in the summer, silk, you can still, if you sweat, you don't want the sweat coming through the silk. So it depends on where you're going to be. If you're going to be inside, probably mi maybe mix it with a, a silk's top and a, the pants with it. Just vice versa. If you're going to wear a linen um, top, try to change up the pants to make it a different material. Don't wear a whole entire linen outfit because I think you drown out the look. You want to block, you know, you want to um, separate how it looks from the top to the bottom. Also, um, like I said, the, the knit is in for summer and spring so make sure that you're picking for your body um we <laughs> i'm just gonna say everybody can't wear everything so make sure you know your body type before you begin to put on things and um, somebody might not be able to wear the one shoulder with the split but you might be able to wear a um maybe a, a high low knit top with a tank underneath or a little bit off the shoulders with a tank just make sure that you're dressing for your particular body type. Also, for the summer, I'm going to say that um, your bottom, your pant look is very important. Um, some people don't like to wear like the crop jeans, and, and it depends on what it looks like. But in the summer, I love when shoes are showing. And that is even with, in a spring, you can still wear a booty. A lot of people don't think that you can actually wear a booty. I'm going to show you a booty actually that you could wear in the spring with a little crop jean and a t-shirt and a little clutch purse with it. It has to be the right color though. So this is a cute spring color. Remember I said that these type of greens are going to be in for spring 2021. So like a neon with a crop little, um, maybe the fringe, um, have a fringe like at the bottom of the crop just like cut the bottom and then like pull out the strings that would be cute have a cut up t-shirt and like a cute little clutch to wear with it so this is a nice little look for spring it's spring nights um, you might not be able to wear it in the daytime but spring nights you can wear a booty you can pull that off I also want to give you guys some options when your color with you, you don't have to have the same color as your under as your tank underneath you can change it up. So I'm going to change it up with this sort of like turquoise teal necklace. And you can wear a little heel that matches the necklace. This has like a little uh, spikes on it. That's why I say if you are going to wear something like this, make sure that the shoe is showing and that the shoe is visible, that it's not underneath a jean. So you either want to wear a short or a um, either like crop jeans or crop pants. Okay, so guys, for summer, what I'm gonna suggest is 
if we I know we have to do social distancing and I do have on my blog um, some things that you can wear that hi sister hi sissy <laughs> um, some things that if you go to my blog I have a blog about wearing um, summer dresses summer things in crowds so we're not going to be in crowds right now we are going to be social distancing but I know that businesses are, are coming up with ways where people can congregate and you're not um, close together so I would suggest going to my blog so you can find out what to wear and also what to do to protect yourself as well so um, does anybody have any questions about the whites that I just showed you here um, also I want to bring up your undergarments sorry <laughs> that's very important when you are wearing white please do not wear white underwear and white underclothing with it it needs to be a dark color black um, preferably and you want to make sure that it is not showing because white can tend to show certain undergarments so you want to make sure before you leave the house that you're looking in different lighting even go outside possibly just to make sure that you are not wearing um, undergarments that are going to show through your white hi Lori how are you thanks for viewing <laughs> I'm just giving tips <laughs> um, so if you guys have any questions I I know some of you ask questions while I'm speaking and I don't get to all of them and I apologize so I hope that the next time I, I can get to them um, I am going to show you another white look Oh, it's actually this look so this is like a fringed um, shirt and this is what I would suggest maybe this material wearing with a remember I said a linen pant make sure that it's a different um, texture and material don't wear a whole entire linen as a woman um, I'm not going to speak for men because I'm not <laughs> I'm not astute or I don't, my profession is not men's clothing but for women's clothing please break up your linen outfits don't wear a whole linen outfit um, some there are some linen dresses that look extremely nice pick and choose wisely with linen oh here it is okay so this is another spring little white floral number here but what I like about this particular shirt is the crisscross in the front and brings access to your Kind of bosom area um kind of like i have a hole right here i think being modest because i i do try to dress modestly um and still keep it classy and that's what my my brand is about keeping it classy and still be able to work and walk outside of these doors and represent yourself because i will say um sometimes we get rebellious in our clothing and we say you know i'll wear what i want i'll do what i want but there are some things that you should do if you want because it could be your blue hair that's stopping you from getting that business deal <laughs> you know what i mean so i'm not going to say change your entire style but make sure whatever you know you're doing and whatever your responsibility is in life that you're being productive at it and it's not holding you back from being successful and that's why dressing is so important because it does bring an amount of productivity when you feel good about yourself so just make sure that you're doing what's necessary to bring about productivity in your life and not stunning it um, so this would be cute I love because it's floral right now this would be cute with a jean this would also be cute with like a um, crop pant um, depending on the color you want to bring out I know we talked about ice mango last week and essentially these have all the colors that we talked about last week in our spring 2021 um, it has the ice mango it has the cinnamon um, it does have the greens um, in it and, and the whites so if you're picking out blouses make sure if the florals like this one I would not um, mix a pattern with this is not the material to I know we asked about I think Joel you asked about mixing prints this particular shirt I would not mix prints with it's not a good shirt um, it's a cotton shirt 
not really good to mix prints because you have to worry about the material as well and I don't think I told you guys that when you're mixing prints you need to make sure you're being aware of what type of material it is as well so I know that was kind of quick guys so um, I'm not going to be on those were like my four ticks um, um, the recommended colors that I do have for whites are pastels I did say it looks great with pastel pastels and also with pastels you can wear um, jewels like gems you see how I have gems here um, on my earrings when you have pastel colors you can get gems that look a lot alike um, the same color and wear that and it looks great underneath like a lilac um, I'm not sure what gem is a lilac some of you guys might know if you're brush stones and things like that I, I don't really know that but I know gems look really good with pastels um, let me make sure I'm giving you guys all the information and like I said if I don't have all of this information um, if we don't go over everything I will put it in the blog and I did update my blog from last week so you can look at the color um, palette for 2021 so um, amethyst yes great color for purple yes the lilac yes thank you Joel. see she's a scientist y'all <laughs> so she knows her stuff <laughs> she could probably explain to you about the spec the color spectrum too but um, if anybody doesn't, I didn't understand the color spectrum before I got started um, styling, so I studied it. And I started to understand what colors uh, match with others. I, I study a lot. <laughs> I'm in school now. But um, I am a color connoisseur, I will say. I can remember a color like the back of my hand. It's a gift. <laughs> like the Lord said, your gifts will make room for you. It is a gift. So, do you guys have any questions about the whites? Um, any questions about, and if you see something that you like, um, especially like the hats are for sale. Um, next week, we're going to talk about, actually, um, we're going to have guests next week. Two guests. And these are guests who will actually be there. <laughs> um, sorry about the confusion from last week. But we do have two guests and professionals in their own right. Um, is it okay to wear black in the spring? It is okay to wear black in the spring, but I would mix it with another color. So if you're wearing, say you're wearing a black um, outfit or something, make sure you put, you put in a, a spring color. And I'm going to say blacks are good with neon colors in the spring. So like a neon pink, and I can give you kind of um, an example of that, to be honest with you. Sorry guys, I have to step away sometimes. So, so this is a cute color for spring. So you can mix a neon with your black. I'm just going to say don't wear all black. Make sure you accessorize it with a color. A neon color something's going even a yellow um, something that's going to bring out that it is spring <laughs> you know what I mean I know there are um, black sundresses and things like that just make sure you accessorize it with a, a black color um, because you just don't want to be drab in the spring you want to brighten it up and those who, of you who are on uh, zoom um, that's I do want to say stay away from wearing white all the time because depending on your camera your angle it can show up super super bright almost glaring so that's why I say when you're wearing in the last session we talked about zooming um, you're welcome sissy <laughs> when I talked about zooming and what colors to wear make sure it's a color that's going to show up and it's not going to hurt the eyes of the viewer you want to make sure that it's a solid color um, Neon, I wouldn't say wear <laughs> during a Zoom meeting, but I would say, you know, make sure that it, you're at least wearing your reds, your blues, your um, um, pinks, things like that, so it doesn't glare, because white can glare in pictures. Um, you want to make sure that you have the, the correct lens when you're taking pictures with white, because I know I've been in photo shoots, and the picture may not turn out correctly because of how bright the light is. Um, glaring off the white so just make sure if you're ever in a photo shoot or a video shoot that your cameraman they should know 
you know, what blends, what lighting for white. Any other questions, guys? I know in a couple of sessions we're going to do, we're going to be mixing prints and actually Jewel is going to be helping me with that. We're going to actually um, go in her closet. <laughs> so we're going to, we're not going to, she doesn't want us to go exactly in her closet. I'll give her the, the choice, but if she wants to bring pieces so we can match them up together and see how they look and this is basically what I would do over a, a, a cons consultation. So we would just be doing it online in front of you guys. So, um, but next week, my special guests are my sisters, guys. So um, a lot of people don't know. My, well, a lot of people do know. <laughs> Jewel, don't get up. Don't get crazy. <laughs> you can bring pieces out of your... <laughs> Joe, you're funny. We'll work it out. But they're my sisters. And um, one of my sisters is a licensed cosmetologist. And she's going to be speaking with us about hair care. Um, how we can keep our hair up. Um, because that's what I'm doing. I'm going natural right now, y'all. <laughs> a little hard for me. <laughs> but um, she's going to be telling us some tips about hair. And my twin sister, the model extraordinaire, um, but people don't actually know she's a professor. She's very smart. <laughs> but she has been doing my makeup. And people don't know that. She's a makeup artist. And then she does, does makeup as well. Skin care. You can ask her any types of questions. But she's also a nationally known plus model as well. So she's modeled around this country. <laughs> There's a lot of cities. I can't even... <laughs> I can't even um, name all the cities and where she's been to model. So my sisters are super, super talented. They help me out in everything I do with my business. I couldn't do that without them. And also, I'm going to have my mommy on just um, because I've been privileged to have my mom um, in my life from, and I know some people haven't, but I'm graced by God to have my mom and she's so much into me and my sisters and I'm going to have her on just to give words of wisdom for Mother's Day um, she's an educator a woman of God and I just want you guys to see what I get to see on a daily basis so I'm going to have my family on um, I won't be filming for um, Mother's Day because I know people are spending time with their family zooming and things so and I'll be Zooming with my mommy. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in this week. And next week, we're go it's going to be via Zoom with my sister. So like I said last week, I was um, going to send you an email. But this week, I'm going to send the email for my sisters um, who are going to be speaking to us about their perspective, um, exp their expertise <laughs> in their careers. So and you can, I'm sure they'll answer any question that you have. But it's also good to see, like, I have sisters that are my best friends. And I appreciate them. And I love them for even wanting to do this because I asked them. Because, I mean, those are the experts that I go to. So, for, for whatever I need. So, for makeup, for hair, I have sisters. And I was blessed to have that. So, any other questions before I sign off this session? If you have anything about the whites... What you shouldn't wear with whites. I hope I covered the undergarments as well. And I just want to thank you guys for tuning in <laughs> while I fumble through this. And thank you for just, I'm coming up with content based on what you guys want. And I appreciate what you're doing and um, supporting me. And be sure to check out my blog. And be sure to contact me if you need anything. Just whatever it is. Just email me, inbox me, all of that. But I, the last thing I do want to say, and this is near to my heart. Um, oh, you're loving the green. I, you know what? <laughs> green is like one of my favorite colors. So I was like, what color am I going to wear? And it was like raining outside, so I didn't want to wear anything like really, really bright. So I decided to wear my favorite green. So thank you, Jewel. So, <laughs> so I want to um, talk about 
some things that have been on my heart, especially with women, because the way that I connect with people is through my business. And I talk to a lot of women. And through this um, pandemic, I, there's been a rise in domestic violence. So I want to say to any woman that the Bible says you're fearfully and wonderfully made. So God took time to make you, form you, create you, and you have a purpose. Don't let anybody stop you from believing that God has a purpose for you, that you're a jewel in his eyes. And on my Instagram page, I have a um, post that has numbers that you can call for any type of issue you're having, domestic abuse, child abuse, but women are my heart. So if you're feeling unsafe, if you're feeling like you um, are afraid, even for you and your children, please go to my Instagram page and look up the um, numbers that I have. And this is for the Pittsburgh area. Um, I will find out what the national number is, but if you're in the Pennsylvania, Allegheny County area, those numbers that I have are there for you. So I thank you guys. I honor you guys for just being great, wonderful women. And I pray for you. And I pray that as we go through this pandemic, that we come out greater and better and wiser and more even more beautiful than we are inside and out so thank you guys i love you and i will see you next week